Willis. <laughs> uh, all right. Brute Willis. I mean, I don't know. Thankfully, uh, I think Glazius pointed out that one of the combos I've been mispronouncing as Jingle Bell was actually Jiggle Bell. So, well, it's understandable because, I mean, Jiggle Bell just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, well, a headshot saying Jingle Bell doesn't make sense, but at least it's like I can put those two words together and think of a Christmas carol. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a phrase. It's a, it's a common term, you know. I, I Like, every day I say, hey, Jingle Bell, right? If I uh, said, yeah? If I said Jingle Bell, people would probably think there's something wrong with me. Oh. There's nothing. Kill there's check. Oh, yeah. Put your gun down. I'm not gonna hurt you. We're all that's left of our regiment. We tried to break into the monastery. They've got some French tanks there, see? About the only things that'll damage these bloody monsters, whatever they are. The monastery? That's where I'm going. Oh, are you? Some chance. The cavern's the only way through, and that's full of creatures like you've never seen. Horrific. They'll tear you to pieces. And plenty more of these bog-eyed freaks before you even get there. You've not got a hope in hell. You can rot here forever if you like. I'm going on. You're bloody mad, you know that? I have a mission and my duty. Is that a British concept? I'll show you what a Scotsman can do, pal. Yeah. And I'll get even with those flesh dripping bastards while I'm at it. We'll help clear your way to the cavern. But if you want to go inside, be those monsters dinner, <laughs> that's your lookout. But yeah, I, uh, I guess Scottish people are naturally attracted to corrugated fencing. I don't know why all this crap is in this little ca cavern here. But we actually just picked up uh, another fanciful new grenade, a smoke grenade. Which, as you can guess from the name of it, is uh, pretty useless. It's just a grade that, uh, grenade that emits smoke. And uh, the uh, fire demons are being made short work of by your sniper rifle there. Yeah, they're, uh, I don't know, I mean the sniper rifle itself is uh, pretty powerful, but uh, yeah, the, the flying demons aren't really that much of a hassle uh, unless you don't know where the hell they are and I'm getting hit from somewhere and oh look it's oh there we go he's nice he got back into our range except now I'm being horribly jostled by these Scottish people well that's uh, isn't that the Scottish national past pastime is uh, jostling I thought it had something to do with like Capers or cables. Oh, cabers. Cabers. Yeah, that's, like a big tree trunk. Yeah, that's a word. And uh, here's a here's a mistake I'll uh, I'll probably regret later, but I ended up uh, exchanging my SMLE I think this British rifle for the uh, the the little the German equivalent rifle that has a bayonet on it. I just kind of wanted to stab some people in the butthole. Because why shoot them from 300 yards when you can you know, run up and stab them in the face? Well, yeah, or completely jump the fuck over them. Yeah. Like I said, you're on your own now, Jerry. Good luck in there. And follow you, lad, but it. that line of sandbags is nearly a foot high. Yeah, I mean, Scottish legs are literally covered in hair. Really weighs them down, especially if you, like, get them wet. Uh, and the smell? Oh, don't yeah. even get me started. Well, I mean, there's the natural smell. As the air claims mankind, so I possess you. We hold them at bay, buried in the deep, seething, unaware of our true form, oblivious of your debt. Of your doom, you keep us hidden in the darkness, waiting. Yet the truth is that we and they are real. Prove 
prove yourself to us, and we will give you power. 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 I... What are you? No! I feel cold. You did something to me. Have I caught the disease? <laughs> no. This is no disease. This is the turning of the tide. We feel the seed of change you carry with you. You are not like the others. Show me you are worthy. It was nice of him to come back to clarify. Yeah, I mean... How else would you realize that to prove your worth, you'd have to beat beat up a cripple? The... What is happening to me? When they hit me, I felt. We no didn't pain. really get a good look at him yet. Yeah, well, uh, people that watch the original Necrovision will remember our our good friend Skeletor, who they do, they don't even go through the trouble of naming him properly. They just say fight the demons. But we all know that Skeletor. Actually, coming a bit too close to death here. Bayonet actually does not work too well against these guys. But, uh, yeah, uh, this is actually a pretty good way to cheese this fight. Uh, mostly because these barbed wire zombies just really keep coming, and along with uh, Skeletor down there, this can be a bit of a tough fight to just fight normally. Yeah, I think uh, someone needs to call the ACLU. We have a lawsuit on our hands. Is this little cave out here not wheelchair accessible? Yeah, but it, uh, it proves to our advantage right now. Especially, uh, who wants to fight a cannon lobbing paralyzed zombie? Or, not, well, a skeleton. He's long Ro lost his uh, zombification. Robot, skeleton, zombie... Yeah. In a wheelchair. Handicap. Handicapable, I should say. Yeah, and sometimes he will kind of like uh, wheel himself into a more viable position, but if you uh, if you go back a little bit to this uh, hallway right here, he'll actually just kind of wheel himself back into the wall to try and get your attention. Be like, feed me, change me. But Zimmerman, uh, he's not a, uh, a hospice worker. He's, uh, he's a German. And uh, I'm, I'm noticing that it seems like his shots are clipping on the staircase. So you're just taking splash and not direct damage? Yeah, that's more than likely from uh, the cannon launcher on his back there. Actually uh, ended up running through all the good machine gun ammo. You don't get too much in this particular level just because they, uh, they really wanted to push this bar rifle because it's a new weapon. But it's... It's the lesser of the uh, the three. But it looks I, like a... I noticed it said fight the demons completed, but you're still being attacked. Well, I, I think that just means like, oh, you took care of Skeletor, and we've, uh, we, we're have we nice now, we're going to stop spawning these uh, barbed wire demons. Hey, Grandad! I thought you were dead. I could say the same about you, Lieutenant. How did you make it through? <laughs> Takes more than a bunch of meat-faced loons and a few flames to stop one of the tank corps. Even without my beautiful Renault. So, what now? You wanted to get to Fort Stern, am I right? If I can get there, I may be able to bring this horror to an end. Well, I'll drink to that, pal. It's a long way. But if we can get my tank rolling... I'll get you there in one piece. Oh, American technology has let you down, Lieutenant? My little baby's French, and she's lost her heartbeat. You'd call that a carburetor. We can fix her up, but it means taking our chances in the monastery. I've never been there, but I have a bad feeling about this monastery. And so you should. It's being used as a lazarette. Quarantine, you know? But it's one hospital where you wouldn't want the nurses looking after you. Why not? We stopped there last night to repair the carburetor. It was late, looked abandoned. Collins took the gear inside to get some light, and we never saw him or the carburetor again. 
Instead, we had to fight off these damn crazy nurses. More like animals. Looked like they got rabies or something. Anyway, we, oh. Oh, I think we have company. Let's and go. And with that, uh, the first half of the stage is over with. Please join me again for part two, and see you next time.